is the uh, function generator that I got from eBay for around $16 and uh, it has a uh, uh, amplitude knob right here and an offset knob here and LCD display uh, there are f uh, five buttons up down left right and plus uh, start and stop you get the power button right here and a 9 volt uh, power jack there and on this side here you have uh, your uh, frequency out which is the DDS out and it also has a high uh, high frequency out which is in, in the megahertz range so uh, this has uh, sine wave, square wave, sawtooth wave, reverse sawtooth wave. It has also white no uh, noise, a random noise, and others. I'll run through it so that you can see what what it is, and I'll show you also how it uh, looks like in the, the waveform. How the waveform looks like in the scope, uh, right there. Okay. Um, I have this set up now this is the scope probe and we're gonna see a uh, sine wave coming out but uh, you want to see in the back it's pretty plain and simple uh, I think I got this this one with uh, probably the uh, I think this is the 7805 uh, voltage regulator that probably was burnt or something and uh, they replaced the, the chip uh, the 3-pin three, the three chip 7805 uh, regulator so but it works it works really well so I'm happy with it you know I understand that uh, things happen when they test stuff and if you try to look inside you could see the microprocessor or the processor right there and I guess this is the amplifier chip right there on the side there so um, <clears throat> let's see how it works in the power and then turn on the uh, power here it's a sign uh, 10 kilohertz and it's off to turn it on, it says here the, you you press the middle button right there, which says start and stop. And I will just um, turn it on, and uh, right there you could see that that's indeed a 10 kilohertz uh, signal sine wave. And uh, I can adjust the offset there. So we're just going to get the best, uh, and that's the maximum amplitude anyway. And I can reduce the amplitude, which is nice. Okay. To change the frequency, you got to turn off this thing first and then press the left or the right to change the frequency and let us go to 1 point I uh, know yeah 1.2 kilohertz and I'm gonna turn that on this on and there you go 1.2 kilohertz right there uh, I'm going to increase the amplitude Suppose to be on 5, five volts uh, RMS or 14.8 peak to peak um, before it clips see it's clipping right there because this is a 9 volt power supply so you know 9 volts going in so yeah, it's not. It's pretty good. 
I thought I would expect uh, I could use this for my amplifiers and all that stuff and it goes up to uh, 65 kilohertz which is way the, more than what I need so uh, let's go down to uh, 1 hertz it can go to 1 hertz it says so I gotta turn it off again and keep pressing this thing until it goes 0 hertz Oh, 100 hertz, and it goes zero, and 100. Oh, it, the, the lowest is 100 hertz. Well, I would like it, would have been nice if it goes to, it went down to uh, what you call this uh, 1 hertz, or at least 20 hertz. But I guess that's good enough for testing. Let me see. Turn this thing on. Turn it on. I know, turn it on. One hertz. I don't know. Yeah, 100 hertz. Turn it on. And adjust the scope there 99 100 Hertz unfortunately it won't go down to uh, 1 Hertz I would like to, it to go down it would have been nice if it went down to 20 Hertz you know test some audio stuff the lowest frequency or 15 even better but I think this is good enough for a $16 uh function generator if I push the up button it goes high speed you're gonna do that last go down I have square wave turn that on and that square wave is really funny looking so we yeah that's a funny looking square wave we need to adjust uh the um, offset but it still doesn't work too good and uh, let me change that to 200 Hertz square wave uh, much better now okay so 300 Hertz turn on uh, much better looking square wave okay let's go to a higher one turn this off and then go 7k and turn that on Okay. Yeah, and that's 7K. It looks nice. Okay, let's change this one to a triangular wave. I can adjust the offset. Okay, I got a nice triangular wave, 7 kilohertz. Okay, let's change that to a sawtooth wave. I'm going to turn that sawtooth wave on. You have that nice sawtooth wave. Okay, I'm going to change that now to reverse sawtooth. And there's the reverse one. And ECG, it doesn't, uh, I'm going to turn it on, and this is the ECG thing, yeah. Adjust the, the 
There you go. Here's your heart monitor. Kind of. Well, it's a good thing that you could test these things. Uh, simulate a heartbeat kind of thing. And I'm going to turn that off. And the next one would be frequency step. This is where it doesn't it doesn't look like it works okay I will try